Let us look now at solving a simpler analogous problem. This strategy requires that we consider a simpler problem that preserves the structure of the original problem. As most strategies discussed here, this might be a first step in a set of strategies to solve a problem. Consider this example. There are 1,000 mailboxes at a post office numbered 1 through 1,000. There are also 1,000 mailbox owners, one for each mailbox. At the start of the mailbox challenge, all mailboxes are closed and the owners open and close the mailboxes according to the following rules. Owner rule 1 opens every mailbox. Owner 2 closes every second mailbox. Owner 3 changes the state of every third mailbox, closing it if it is open and opening it if it is closed. And so on, owner n changes the state of every nth mailbox, etc. When all the owners have taken their turns, how many mailboxes are open? Now, if you've never seen this problem, I suggest that you stop for a few minutes and try to solve it. Considering 1,000 mailboxes might seem daunting, why not look at a simpler case? Let us take only 10 mailboxes and run through this process and see what happens. Number one opens every mailbox. Number two closes every even number mailbox. Number three changes the state of every third mailbox. Number four changes the state of all factors of all the multiples of four. Number five does the same with five and ten. Number six, now twelve here, so this changes here. And closed, open, closed. We see that we end up with only three open mailboxes, one, four, and nine. We might still not feel too confident about making a conjecture, so why not look at 20 mailboxes? When we do that, we see that the open lockers are 1, 4, 9, and 6. Mm. This is 1 squared, 2 squared, 3 squared, and 4 squared. Mm. It might be that all the perfect squares are open. And if that is the case, since 31 squared is equal to 961, 31 will be open at the end of the day. But how can we be sure? Why are perfect squares so special? Why are they different? Well, consider any other number like 12, which is not a perfect square. When you look at the factors of 12, we have 1 and 12, 2 and 6, three and four. You have an even number of factors. But when you look at a perfect square, say like 16, you have one, 16, two and eight, four and four. Because you have four here twice, you have an odd number of factors. Since all perfect squares have an odd number of factors, you are taking an odd number of actions on them, which means those are the ones that will be open at the end of the day, and there will be 31 of them. Thank you.